good God is, right? Amen. Amen. We, we just got through saying, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. 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 You know, I, I really want to put something in your spirit tonight. Just, you know, but I don't want you to take it and then leave it. You know, I don't want you to leave it here. I want you to take it with you. Amen. You know, and if you forget, you know, in a couple of weeks, it'll be on YouTube. Amen. So, you know what I'm saying? Just tune back in and, you know what I'm saying, and, and get your feel. Amen. Amen. You know, because truly, you know, we need to be on top of our game. Amen. Amen. You know, it's not good enough to just call yourself a child of God and you're not living right. Amen. Amen. Okay. I'm, I'm really, really, it's, it's stupidity at its best. Amen. 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 You know, there's too many of, of so-called Christians walking around talking about that, you know what I'm saying, I'm I'm a believer in God. Yeah. You know. Okay. But then when you have a conversation with them or then, you know, when you get a little deep with them, you you realize that, hey, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Now I know the word says we all fall short of the glory yes, of God. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got that. But we shouldn't be social. <laughs> you know, especially if you've been walking with God for years. Okay, either either you've been learning for years or you've been fronting for years. It's one or the other. It ain't both. Either you've been learning and you and it has impacted your life to where it's life changing. Or you just fronting like it is. Amen. 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 And let me tell you something. You can't fool God. Amen. Amen. You know, I tried. I, I, I tried to fool him. But you know what? I never could. So you know what I had to do? Stop fooling him. Just be straight up with God. If you don't be straight with anybody, you need to be straight with God. Okay, for real. You know, as a child of God, just be straight with him. Lord, yeah, I know I lied over there, but but you know what? Please forgive me because I can't lie to you. You know, I mean, there comes a point in time in, in your walk with God to where you have to start walking right. You have to start living right. You have to start talking right. I mean, this walk right here ain't no joke. This is for real. Amen. And one day you're going to walk right up into heaven. Amen. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Don't you understand what that means? Yes. With the Lord. If you're going to walk up into heaven, you know, heaven is a prepared place yes. for a prepared people. Amen. A certain kind of people. That's right. It's for believers. Yeah. It's for. People who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Oh, you got a home. Amen. A nice home. Amen. What you got down here, do not compare. That's right. That's right. Man. You're not going to need cable TV. You ain't going to need none of the internet. You're not going to need none of that stuff up here. And, and you know what else? You ain't going to even need a shower. You won't need a shower. You won't need a bathtub. You won't need none of that. You won't need a refrigerator, a stove. You won't need anything. You won't need a coat, a blanket. You won't need nothing up in there. Because whenever you get there, it will be provided. And the only thing it says that you're going to have is a robe and some type of shoes. Amen. Amen. A crown on your head. Amen. And you can step around heaven all day. Yeah. All the time. It ain't gonna be night and day. Right. Amen. It's only night and day down here. Yeah. That's right. And even in Alaska, you'd be day, I think it's like six months out of the year, or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Six or nine or whatever it is. You know, but up there, it's gonna be just glorious Hallelujah. all the time. Yeah. Amen. That's what you have to look forward to. Amen. But we need to start living right, right here. Amen. While we're right here. Now, I just want everybody to go to the Gospel of Luke. We are in Luke in the Bible study. Yes. But I just, this is going to be a little bit further along, Luke chapter 18. In the Bible study, we haven't gotten there. So you're getting, you're getting, you're getting something before you get something. <laughs> Amen? Praise God. Because, see, the way it is, anybody 
knows that it's rough out there nowadays? Amen. If you know that it's rough or a little tough or a little bit weird or maybe even scary for some people, you know what I'm saying, or you're seeing and hearing things like, hey, what's wrong with the world? If you're one of those people, just raise your hand because I'm going to raise mine. You know, I fit in the couple of those categories that I just mentioned. You know, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You don't have an inkling of an idea. But I'm going to tell you this. Pay close attention to what is going on. Some people don't like to watch the news I do. Amen. And, and I would encourage you to, as a little child of God, you need to be aware of it. Just like you're aware of what's in this word. You need to be aware of the signs of the times. I'm not saying it because I'm saying it, but I'm saying it because that's what Jesus told me. You need to know the signs of the times. So you'll know what's going on. We know that he's coming back, but it's good while you're living to get a uh, clear idea of what's going on in the world so you'll be able to have a more urgency about telling somebody they need to get it right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right they need to get it right. Tell us about it. When you look at the news, all kind of stuff going on. The Bible says in Revelation there'll be wars and rumors of wars. Yeah. We're hearing about rumors, but we also know there's wars going on. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And I told you before, the United States ain't mentioned in the end. Yeah. So you need to pay close attention. To what's going on. I hope the rapture happens before then. Amen. Please, Lord. Oh, see, I can't even get amen. See, if you're a believer, if you're a believer and if you're a child of God, then hey, wait a minute. You should be hoping that the rapture comes. Amen. Amen. You should be hoping for that. Because the rapture going to come. Yes. Whether we in it or not. It might come after we go. But it's coming. Amen. It has to happen. So I just want you guys to be up on that. Okay. Don't sleep. On God. You need to know. Okay. It's very important for your witness. Amen. For you to tell how you're going to talk to somebody you don't even know what's going on. That's right. Amen. You see what I'm saying? That's what Jesus was telling them back then. It sure is funny. Y'all don't know the signs of the time. Y'all just know when it's going to rain. Uh -huh. Sad. You know the only reason why you know that? Because it's getting clouds and coming up and, and all this old kind of stuff. So it should rain. Yeah. But you don't know what's going on besides the rain. So I just want to encourage you, especially God's House of Liberty, get up on it because we need to tell it as much as we see the day approaching. Amen. We need to tell it. Amen. 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 That's a commandment. Yeah. And whatever Jesus say, believe me, it ain't something that it'd be nice if you do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. He wants you to do that. Mm -hmm. Anything in the word of God, God tells you to do something, then that's a commandment. Yeah. You might as well take it like you take those other ten. Yeah. Okay? Because God is talking to us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. There's a lot of people missing the mark because we ain't telling them. Yeah. We say we love people. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. We ain't reaching out. Yeah. We ain't connecting with people. Teach we walk past people. and I mean, I'm talking about even some of our family members. Oh, we'll God. walk right past them and say, oh, it's okay what they're doing. Yeah. It's okay what they're doing. Yeah. It's a, I know that's what you do. Because I did it. Okay? So I know it to be true. I, you know what I say? It ain't me doing it. That's my way of getting out of it. Amen? Oh, you can do what you want to do. It ain't me doing it. And, and, that's, and that's how I go on about my business. I'm telling the truth. But I also got to, I know within me I got a word for them. Okay? And, I, and the word could change their life. Because you never know who God will bring to you. Listen to me good. You never know who God will bring to you. You never know when somebody comes to you. They might be coming for something else. But God has you ready to give them what's already in you. You don't have to wait to give them something. Because whatever you have going on in your life at that particular time is enough to change somebody's life. 
Amen. Truly it is. Yes, Lord. All you got to do is open your mouth. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Open your mouth. You know why? Because God will give you what to say. Amen. Yes. All you got to do is open oh, your yes, mouth. Amen. Quit trying to figure it out. Like the song say, because God done already worked it out. I mean, whatever you need to tell that person will come out your mouth. And you know what you'll say? Oh, boy, that was good. That was Amen. But you have to be ready to get it. Okay. Luke chapter 18. We're going to be looking at verse 35 through 43. And just for our mind, this is what I want you guys to focus in on. You need... To get Jesus' attention. Mm. Quit pity patting around. Half of us ain't even trying to get his attention. We're too busy running away from him. We're too busy. We don't want him to see what we're doing. So we're not trying to get his attention. That's the last thing I want is for Jesus to see what I'm doing. I hope he's over there dealing with them people because, hey, I don't want him seeing what I'm doing. Some of us be trying to cover it up. Ooh, we, I can't let him see what I'm doing. So we're not going to try to get his attention. But we need to try to get his attention. Amen. Amen. Some of us don't cry enough. And I don't mean what tears got to be coming out your eyes. You don't have to be boohooing to be crying. Amen. Amen. But you need to cry out to him. You need to call out to him. You need to call his name. You need to let him know that you know that you need him. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. Just thanking you for right now because this is the time that you have made, Almighty God. And you told us to rejoice and be glad in this day. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Almighty God, for truly you have blessed us today. And Lord, we ask, Heavenly Father, that you continue to use us in your service. Continue to give us what to say even when we don't know what to say. Let us not be afraid, Almighty God, of doing well. For in due season, you said that we shall reap the harvest if we don't faint, Amen. if we don't give up. Thank you, Lord. Help us to stay faithful to your call. Father, continue to bless our ears to hear the truth. Continue to bless our hearts to accept your truth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give him a hand, praise. To get Jesus' attention. Amen. Do you know how to get people's attention? Amen. See, we sometimes if you if you're in the crowd, you know, or say you're in a room someplace, is is something going on, and you want to get somebody's attention. Oh yeah, you know how to get their attention. Amen. Amen. We ain't gonna let nobody stop us from getting that person's attention that's in that room. We gonna jump up and down. We gonna wave. Some of us gonna say, "Hey man, hey." We're going to run over there to them. We're we going to hit them. Hey, man, look, I need to talk to you. Yeah. Whatever it takes is what we will do when we're trying to get each other's attention. We're going to go out of our way. Amen. If we're in a car uh -oh. and we see somebody and we know we need to get them, we're going to flag them down. <laughs> we'll punch that gas real quick. Oh, man, that's something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they looking back at you trying to figure out who you are. Bah, 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 bah. Hey man, hey man. <laughs> Roll that window down. <laughs> we trying to get their attention. Amen. 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 But let the police roll up. You ain't trying to get their attention. <laughs> You don't even want them to notice you. No. <laughs> Your driving skills get better. You slow down off the gas. You start using your blinkers. Checking your mirrors. You doing all of that. You slow up, hoping they'll pass you up. 
Amen. 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 Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. But see, what we need to do, we need to get Jesus' attention. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We need to be waving, shouting, hollering, blowing horns. We need to be doing all that kind of stuff and get his attention. Amen. Why? Because we all need help. Yeah, we, do. Yes. we need help. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care. Money can help you when you need a healing. Amen. Okay? Amen. We got it backwards. We think, oh, I got money, boy. I can get the best doctors. I can do Let me tell you something. There ain't no doctor in the world that can prolong your life. Amen. Amen. Do you hear me? There is, I don't care what you spend your money on. I don't care if they give you a new heart. I don't care if they give you some new lungs. I don't care what it is that they give you in order to make your health better. See, people with good health die all the time. Okay, let's take that to the bank. People in good health die all the time. There's a lot of people that still eat bad, Amen. still smoking, still drinking, Amen. doing all kinds of things. Amen. Health ain't good, or the doctor say, yeah, you got to quit this because your health ain't no good. And all of a sudden, they're out living healthy people. So what should that tell us in the God community? Amen. We forget all about that God has the power of life and death. Yes. Now, I'm not saying keep doing that unhealthy stuff. Let's get that straight. Amen. I want you to eat better. I, I want you to get your proper sleep, even though I'll be having a problem with sleep. Okay? But I want you to get your proper sleep. Okay? I want you to have a job so you can have proper, you know what I'm saying, dollars in your pocket so you can do what you need to do because I don't want you stressing. Amen. Yeah. Amen. See, when you don't have no money, you stress. Amen. Even when you don't want to. Amen. So true. Oh, yeah. If you don't have no money, you're going to be stressing. Amen. Even if you're living with somebody who might have some money. Amen. You're going to be stressing because you don't have none. See, when you don't have none and the other person has some, you know, they're going to be looking at you funny. You need to get some. Um, yeah. I'm, I can only keep this up so long. Yeah. Even if they don't beat you up with it, you can feel it. Oh, I need to get some going. Because I know they get tired of what I'm doing. I ain't putting in nothing. Amen. Amen. So it causes stress. So I want everybody to be on it. I want, I want you to have good health. I want you to have, you know what I'm saying, at least some income or something coming in to where you can carry your load, Amen. do your share. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's only right. Amen. It ain't because of what I say, but the Bible say, hey, look, don't work. Don't eat. Say that louder. If you don't work, don't eat. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay? Because I know I eat pretty good. <laughs> I ain't ashamed of that. <laughs> hey, man. If you got some pounds on you, don't be ashamed of that. <laughs> hey, man. You just been eating. Now, if you want to look better, eat less. Hey, man. See, even if you don't want to work out, if you eat less, you're going to drop pounds. Amen. 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 But if you, if you got a little weight on you, look here, you better be happy in your weight. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. Amen. I know a lot of people who got weight on them outlive skinny people. That's right. Do you hear what I'm saying? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We need to get Jesus' attention. Amen. 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 So we are there. Luke chapter 18, 35. Yeah. <clears throat> through 43. Yeah. We there? Amen. Amen. And it reads as follows. <laughs> and it came to pass that as he was going nigh unto Jericho, a certain blind man sat by the wayside begging. Mm -hmm. And hearing the multitude pass by, he asked what it meant. 
Have you ever been someplace and the crowd went by and something was going on? And you say, hey, what's going on? Yes, for sure. Amen. Okay. So we can relate to where, where his thinking is. Okay? So he asked what it meant. And they told him that Jesus of Nazareth passeth by. And he cried, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. When's the last time you cried out like that? Yeah. You know Jesus. You got a relationship with him. Yeah. You know he died for you. You know you've been born again because of the blood that he shed on Calvary. You know all these things. Yeah. But when's the last time you cried out to him? Mm. Jesus! Jesus! Or do you just let him walk on by? Mm. Amen. See, a lot of people will let him walk on by. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. Dion war with. It's been walk on by. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Walking on by. You just let Jesus walk on by. <coughs> Amen? Yeah. And we are believers. Yeah. How dare we just let him walk on by? Knowing what he has done for us. Yes. So this guy right here, see, Jesus hasn't done nothing for this guy yet. Right. Keep that in mind. So you have to go back before you were saved mm -hmm. to get your mind like this man's mind is. Yeah. This is before he met Jesus. So you would have to go back before you met Jesus. Yeah. Before he changed your life, this is where you got to go back to. Before salvation came to you. Amen? Amen. So he says, Jesus have mercy on me. Son of David. You know, and when you look at that, he don't know. He knows that Jesus is in that line, though. Okay? He knows that Jesus is a Jew, so that's why he says, Son of David. Yes. That's how he can relate to him. Mm -hmm. Jesus is a teacher. David's calling him rabbi, and all of these things like that. Mm -hmm. So the man know that he was teaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can see that. But he didn't have salvation yet. He hasn't had a touch or a connection yet with the Lord. Right. So we see right here, it goes right here in 39, I believe it is, next. Uh -huh. And they which went before rebuked him, mm -hmm. that he should hold his peace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shut up, man. Yeah. Amen. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. What are you even hollering for? Make this be quiet. Why are you telling? See, see, that's the way we act if we don't watch it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll tell other people, shut up. Yeah. But you don't have nothing to offer them in replace of you telling them to shut up. Yeah. You just tell them to shut up because you don't want to hear their mouth. They didn't want to hear this guy's mouth. They didn't understand what was going on with this man on the inside. They didn't understand. People don't understand you. Yeah. See, because they're not inside of you, so they don't have a clue. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to remember that. Put yourself in this man's place. Yeah. This man sitting up here shouting, and then they, all of a sudden somebody come tell you, shut up. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And they're telling him that he should hold his peace. This guy right here, I like this guy. Yeah. Amen? Because then it says, but he cried so much the more. Yeah. Yeah. You tell me to say, Jesus, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Even more, he got probably louder and saying his name even more so because these people are trying to tell him to shut up because they don't act like they don't want this man to be blessed. But see, something's going on on the inside of this man that's drawing him to Christ, and he knows if he can get to him probably on the inside, he'll be blessed. Amen. So I want to encourage you, don't let nobody stop your blessing. Amen. Don't worry about what people say about you. Because they don't know what's going on inside you. People look on the outside. Okay? People are on the outside trying to look in. Not on the outside looking in. No, they're on the outside trying to look in. Amen. Amen. See, people will judge you if you have a drink. Amen. Amen. Quick 
quickly. People will even judge you if you sit up there and fire up one. If you're smoking a joint. Amen. Amen. They'll judge you for that. Oh yeah, they'll put you in hell real quick. Oh yeah. But see, they don't know what's going on on the inside of you. See, let me tell you something. Jesus is more powerful than a joint could ever be. Jesus is more powerful than a drink could ever be. Jesus is more powerful than your lion. See how that got kind of quiet right there. See, because I do believe lion is a part of probably all of our lives somewhere down the road. We can say amen real loud because a lot of us don't smoke weed. We can say amen real loud because a lot of us don't drink no more. But see, when I say lie, whoop, the amen got a little lower. Amen. Praise God. So it says, but he cried so much the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. Stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. Get that dude. Yeah. That one that keep calling my name. That one that keep hollering and this and that. And the one that the people trying to make him be quiet. I'm going to show those people that want him to be quiet. I'm going to show him something and everybody something. And I'm going to hit him up personally. Amen. Bring him here to me. Yes. Amen. Jesus said, bring him here. Yes. I hear him all that old talking and hollering and all this kind of stuff. I know he calling on me. Yes. See, you can't let nobody stop you from calling yes. on the Lord. Yeah. You can call him Jesus, Yahshua, son of David. Oh man, look, let me tell you something. Yeah. I am. Yeah. Yes. He got names. Jehovah. Yeah. Whichever name come out your mouth, boy, you better call it. Yeah. Yes. Call him. God just wants you to call on him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He wants you to call on him. Why? Because he wants to show you something. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and we should all want him to show us something. Amen. So in 40 again, it says, And Jesus stood and commanded him to be brought unto him. And when he was come near, he asked him. Don't you love Jesus for that? Yes. He don't just call you and just look at you. Jesus always got something to say to you. Always. Whoever comes in his presence, he got something to say. Amen. Amen. Trust me, he does. He don't just be coming and saying nothing. That's right. He's always have a word for you. Yes. Amen. Why? Because he loves us. Thank We're you, his Lord. creation. Thank you. And he loves us. Yes. 41 says, saying, what will Thou that I shall do unto thee. Yeah. Question mark. Uh -huh. mm. <laughs> Jesus is asking this guy. Yeah. Yes. Because of him crying out. Yes, Jesus said, bring him here. <laughs> he crying out, calling my name. Bring him here. Yes, the one that the people was trying to make him shut up. I heard him already. It's too late for him to shut up. Bring him here. Okay? Bring him here. See, I don't care if people try to make you shut up. Once you start crying out, it's too late. It's too late. He done heard you already. So what you need to do is make yourself ready for a visitation. Amen. Jesus gone, but that don't mean he don't come back. That's right. Woo! Somebody need to get that one right there. Let me go on. Yeah. So Jesus asked him that simple question. What will thou that I shall do unto thee? Glory, hallelujah. The man says this. And he said, Lord, yeah. that I may receive my sight. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's a big task. Yes. You asking this man <laughs> that they called Jesus, that he was crying out to, calling him the son of David. Yeah. Yes. You asking him. To give you sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How does he even know that Jesus can do that? See, I love the word of God. Amen. Because before you get here, Jesus is already doing things. Amen. Come on, Bible study scholar. Let me tell you something. Jesus was already doing things. Okay? He was already doing things before he get up into 18. And the word was going about all around the countryside. It's going all around through everywhere. This Jesus, this Jesus, this Jesus, this Jesus. This Jesus all over the land. And when the guy said, hey, what's all this commotion? He didn't call Jesus out until they was telling him about the commotion. When he asked him, what's going on out there? I can't see. Then the people told him why the people was having all this noise. Why the multitude was coming by. They told him why those people were out there doing what they was doing. But the moment he heard why... Right yeah. Yeah. Oh man, that's because Jesus is in town basically. Oh, Jesus! Hallelujah. Son of David! Come by my house! Come by me! Oh, come on, man! I'm telling you, you gotta quit playing with his name. There's power in his name. There's deliverance in his name. Yeah. There's healing in his name. Yeah. Oh, y'all don't understand. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. 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 We too quiet with it. Jesus. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jesus. <laughs> and you know, and we don't even stand there after we say, Jesus, we take off running another direction. <laughs> Why do you want Jesus to chase you? That's right. Uh -huh. You should be chasing him. So the guy ends up answering the Lord. Yes. That I may receive my sight. Yes. See, you know what I like about that? If he can ask to receive his sight, y'all can see. Amen. So what you need from him ain't big as that. Okay. Oh, y'all don't need Amen. Come on now. Listen. Come on. What you need is not as big as that. You can see. Most of us can hear. Be walking. Oh! Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. But see, when you start knowing that your body over the years deteriorates. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. After a while, you can't walk like you used to. Some people can't see like they used to. Some people can't hear like they used to. Some people can't even drive no more. Some people can't even cook their own meals no more. Some people can't bathe themselves no more. But that happens in process of time. These bodies that we live in, hey look, they break down. Why? Because this ain't our permanent home. This is not where we gonna end up. This is our starting point. Yes. Amen. This is where we start from. This is not where we end. Amen. So we, this man right here is blind and he's calling out to the Lord. And we're not blind. We're not, we not where this man is. As far as our health goes. Okay. So we need to be crying out louder than this guy. Why? Because your cry should be hallelujah. I thank you that, that, that I got my health and strength. Amen. I thank you that I can even still do this or do yeah. that. Yeah. See, see that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. See, this man was crying out yes. because he had that blindness. Yes. He couldn't see all this beautiful stuff God made. Yeah. So he's basically, <laughs> Lord, have mercy. And, yeah. then, and then God says, yes. Mm -hmm. Praise what can I do for you? Right. What? Okay. Let God ask me, what can I do for you? Boy, I'm going to be yeah. stuck. I'm not going to even have an answer. Amen. I'm not going to even have an answer for him if he said, Curtis. 
Well, what can I do for you? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna be like, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> I might have to miss that blessing because you know what I probably say? Lord, what you've done for me is more than enough. Yeah. Be, be, because yeah. you know when you in His presence, yes. I mean, I mean, we can say what we would do, but until you get yeah. yourself in the presence. This man was in the presence of God. Okay? And then God is asking this man, hey, look, what you want me to do for you, man? That man said, look, I can't sing. Yeah. Hey, man, I can't sing. Yeah. Okay, we're going to finish this up. And, and 41 again, then we'll go to 42. Saying, what wilt thou I shall do unto thee? Yeah. Question mark. And he said, Lord, that I may receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, receive thy sight. Thy faith hath saved thee. Yeah. Not Jesus saying, I have saved you. Yeah. Pay close attention. Yeah. It's not that Jesus is saying, Receive your sight. I have saved you. Amen. That ain't what he said. No. Jesus removed himself. He ain't even in, in, in the answer. Okay? He's not even in there. See, that's why we need to pay close attention. How we talk to God. It's very, very important. It says again in 42, and Jesus said. Is that what your Bible says? Amen. And Jesus said unto him, unto the blind man, yeah. receive thy sight. Yeah. Amen. Power. Yeah. You mean I can see? You gonna give me my sight back? Yeah. Woo! That's a miracle in itself. Amen. How could this be? <laughs> then Jesus goes on to tell him. Yeah. Hmm. By faith. Yeah. Yes. Thy faith hath saved thee. Yes. Wait a minute, you mean to tell me that I've been doing stuff wrong? You mean to tell me all it takes is me to believe? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Our problem is we ain't believers. We say we are, but let me tell you something. A believer will believe when they don't see nothing. A believer will believe when they don't see it happening. When they don't see God working. Amen. Even though you can't see that he's working. Even though you can't feel that he's working. He never stops. He never stops working. He be working. Amen. He be working. Why? Because he's a miracle worker. That's why. That's who he is. That's what he does. Our part is faith. Believe it even when you don't see. Believe it even if you don't feel it. Believe it if you can't see how it can happen. Your job is to have faith. Faith. Let me tell you something. You need to get Jesus' attention. Amen. Okay. You need to get Jesus' attention. Amen. Last thing I want to say. And immediately in 43. Yeah. Not tomorrow. Right. Not in about an hour. That's right. Yeah. Pow, pow. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Yes, 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 yes. Not tomorrow, not the next day. Not waiting till some more people come and get around. I got to show them what I can do. None of that. Yeah. None of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Amen. It says, and immediately yeah. he received his sight. Right. Oh, oh hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. hallelujah. You mean immediately if your will is for that, if yeah. I apply my faith to it, you mean that stuff shouldn't be a struggle to me no more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You struggle because
because you want to. All right. yeah. That's right. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Yeah. That's what I mean. You can't do nothing without him. Amen. If you got a good, if you in here right now and you got a good paying job, okay, it ain't because you so good. Amen. Let's get this straight. Amen. See, it ain't because you so good. Amen. See, because there's this thing that God has and he calls it favor. Amen. Okay. See, see, God gives people favor. Amen. This blind man received favor. I told you already, he didn't know Jesus like that. He heard about the works. And when he heard who it was that's coming, he started hollering. Trying to get Jesus' attention. And you know what's so good about trying to get Jesus' attention? You'll get it. This man was trying to get Jesus' attention and got Jesus' attention. And because he got Jesus' attention, Jesus said, what you want? Yeah. The man told him what he wanted. Yeah. Yeah. So because he got Jesus' attention, and because Jesus asked him, what do you want? Yeah. And the man told him what he wanted. Yes. Jesus said, hey, okay, I'm going to give it to you. Wow. I'm going to give it to you because you're calling on me. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if the man wouldn't have called on him, the man just would have been another blind man. Yeah. Yeah. But he called on him. Yeah. Because he heard about the works. Yeah. Jesus said himself, even to those who just believe on my name. Yeah. That's what he said in the scripture. That's what he said. Even the people who don't see, even if they don't believe, you know what I'm saying, on me or seeing what I've done, he said, if they would just believe for the very works that I do. Yes. Amen. That's the word. Amen. This blind man believed on the works that Jesus did. Amen. And cried out and was blessed. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. We all should want to be blessed. Yes, sir. Let me finish this out. Okay, so he received his sight and followed him. Yeah. See, when God does something, when Jesus does something for you, when he changes your life, when he, when he gets into your life, he didn't save you for you to run away. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. See, people in the churches today, they get saved and run away. Yeah. Yeah. Before they're able to develop. Before God is able to use them, you know, because God saves you not for you just to run off and be saved. Amen. He saves you so now you can be used. Amen. You can spread the gospel. Amen. You can tell some other people. Amen. See, I can't reach everybody. That's right. But see, you can reach individually. We can reach a lot of people. Amen. 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 But it says you receive this sight and follow him. Yes. See, he followed him after the miracle. Yes. Yes. And not just followed him, but he started glorifying God. Amen. Yes. Praising him, worshiping him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all the people, when they saw it, yeah. right. gave praise yeah. unto God. Yeah. See, in your life, let me tell you something. In your life, I want you to understand. God didn't save you for, for, for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, God saved us all for something. We all have something to give. Amen. When you think you don't have anything. Let me tell you something. When you're down, I've been down before, and this especially when I was out there in them streets. I've been down to my last nothing. I didn't say last dime. I said my last nothing. And I mean nothing on top of nothing. Yeah. Living bad, yeah. Ooh, getting treated bad. Right. Amen. See, in them streets, if you ain't got nothing, a lot of people don't want you around. Amen. 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 Why? Because you just suck up everything. <laughs> you'll suck up everything they got, and then you'll leave them there with nothing. So don't nobody want you around them. Amen. Amen. <laughs> But see, when Jesus came, all that stuff went away. That's how I know. That's how you know. Don't ever be ashamed or afraid to call his name, to shout out, Jesus! I don't care if the heathen gets mad, if I 
I say it. I don't care if the, the, the sinner get mad if I say it. I don't care if another believer say, shh, man, don't be saying that loud. What's wrong with you? Amen. Amen. So I just want to encourage you. You know, call on me. Amen. Don't be ashamed of that, man. Amen. Mm -mm. Call on Jesus. Be like the blind man. Because you know why? You ain't gonna be blind long. Oh, yeah. 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 